Wonderful. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you, dear brother, powerful liberation theologian. Oh, leader in our time, prophet in our time. Thank you, brother Claudio, for being with us Thank this you. morning. Thank you. It's always good to be with you. Oh. Dear brother, we're going to jump into this wonderful conversation okay. around eco justice. And I'm excited because you and I both come from deep roots in eco justice at Union Theological Seminary in the city of New York. And we were both a part of an earth shaking time um, there in New York City. But I know that your journey with the earth starts way before that. <laughs> Yeah. Could you share with us um, your journey of how you came into eco justice? And if you don't mind, just for the purpose of recording, if you don't mind saying your name and your full title, uh, that will help us to make sure everything is correct. Perfect. Perfect. Good to be with you. My name is Claudio Carvalhais, and uh, I am Associate Professor of Worship at Union Theological Seminary in New York City where both of us did our PhD at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you did in the fastest time I've ever <laughs> seen somebody do a PhD. It's so brilliant you are. And I mean, it's almost like twice the time. But, <laughs> but yes, we come from there. Mm -hmm. And um, I think when, when I think about... Uh, uh, um, Ecology, it's just, and, 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 and how I, 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 I came to it, it is, as we grow, I think the very notion of, of, of the earth and ecology growing up, it's almost like a, a side thing mm. that, that, that comes along and just after a, a, a transformation that I had, I'm going to tell in a minute, is that I can look back and see the ways in which uh, I had my connections and disconnections mm -hmm. um, with, with the earth. I grew up in Sao Paulo in Brazil, and so I grew up in the midst of concrete. Mm. I didn't know, as I still don't know much, of the most elementary things about nature. Mm. I just had my mother, who grew up, grounded uh, uh, um, in the earth, talking to plants along the day and singing to them and treating them as, as, as her babies. Uh, but um, as for me, as a teenager, remember sometimes when we go into church retreats, um, the darkness of the, um, of, of the mountains uh, would, would make me so scared it was yeah. it was i think it was the the fear of the darkness within me and this notion of darkness as something bad and so uh it it that grew grew with me and so and then growing up i uh, when i became a, a pastor of this very poor community in the outskirts of sao paulo i would spend the whole sunday there uh with the group uh, Sunday school in the morning and then the whole afternoon visiting people in the worship service in the evening but in the afternoon when we would visit uh, the people it was a, a place where there was a lot of, of uh, uh, space still for for the growth of, of you know trees and uh, meadows and all of that and and so I remember going to those uh, uh, homes and the children 20, 30 children going with me, they would always ask me about, uh, Pastor, what is this tree? What's the fruit of this tree? And, and I would say, mango. And they would say, wow, no, this is apple. And <laughs> they did every Sunday. And that was the joy that they had that I actually, I didn't do on purpose. I didn't know. <laughs> and so they were just like amazed how uh, uh, stupid I was in terms of not knowing anything. Uh, but it was uh, 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 later to me, uh, when I did theology in, in Brazil, there was not much in terms of, of the relation with the earth. It was mostly going to my uncle's house in the countryside and 
and then getting in, in, in touch with that very uh, new thing for me and uh, learning to ride horse, uh, 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 ride uh, on a donkey without saddle and, 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 and the desperation of being with this creature that I had no relation with. And so I have all these this stories about that. And so that in some ways um, was part of, of not thinking mm -hmm. about the, the relationality with the earth. And so when, when we were at Union, I don't know if you remember Yvonne Jebara came yes. to be a, a scholar in residence for a semester. And it was then when I was her um, assistant wow. um, that I started to think about that. And then, um, and then reading more, uh, and when I talk a little bit more about you, I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Dolores Williams and James Cohn. But actually, um, my precious sister, it was only, I would say, last year that I had an, a conversion, wow. I would say, a, a real a real change. These things were growing in me because I had connections with the landless movement. Mm -hmm. And that, mm -hmm. that was when I started to learn more. Uh, uh, in, in Brazil, I was the director of the chapter in New York. Wow. wow. The work of the pastoral wow. uh, earth of the Catholic movement as well. Wow. So it started to grow on me and, 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 and becoming more and more uh, important important in my 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 thinking hmm. to analyze the uh the you know when when you start to talk about to 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 do um decoloniality and, yeah. and colonialism you have to do the uh, the notions of the earth and the uprootedness of hmm. the earth and so that became very vivid for me but then it be, it, it was still i think of the mind to think hmm. about the class economics and all of that but last year, I was, uh, uh, you know, our precious Robin Kimmerer. Yes. Who wrote the and she has this poetic way of talking. Mm. And, and um, so she came to Union for a conference. And, uh, and I was on my sabbatical, so I was listening to her on, on YouTube. And, and I said, you know, I, something about this. I... I I don't often speak in seminars, but being here, I think we need to create new rituals. We don't have rituals for this time, for what is coming, mm. for the ways in which we are living. Mm. And we need to create new rituals. And when she said that, and, and since I also deal with uh, rituals and liturgy, I, I start crying, so my goodness, mm. I need to change. Mm. And from that day on, I made a decision that I would change my entire scholarship wow. will change every class that I taught. I will put some of the classes, my classes on a garbage can <laughs> and I will take some other classes and revamp the whole thing. Wow. And, wow. and from then on, uh, uh, I, um, 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 and, and then it has to be also a process of internal transformation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with, traveling that I did with a grant to, to visit poor people in four areas of the world wow. and see the devastation mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of, of the ecological or the ecosystems within the lives of the poor. And so that was, and then having kids mm -hmm. and, 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 and reading about the impossibility of their having a future. Right. Right. Uh, and we having a, uh, the earth but without a world mm -hmm. anymore mm -hmm. so all of this have shaken me and and it came with a lot of anxiety with a lot of fears mm -hmm. with a lot of unknown and from then on i started um changing everything my wow. own spiritual uh patterns my own what i'm reading and what i'm teaching so everything uh changed from, from 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 that time so i feel that i am starting everything all over again wow it is a new beginning and one of the things that you share that i love so deeply is your ability to stay on the journey 
and to recognize that it is a journey of becoming. And you named the kind of essence of the, the mystery of the darkness and sometimes the fear of the darkness planted in you, in a sense, growing into you and then coming into this fabulous light in part, in meeting uh, Van Gabara and working with her. And then it sounds like there's also been a clarity of a call to eco-justice, yeah. particularly in conversation with other colleagues, particularly around ritual. And one of the things I've always admired about you as a scholar and a thinker, but also a pastoral heart and a being is your ability to walk with people who are in darkness and to still be light. And that is what we need in the face of climate change. Yeah, because I think you're right. We don't have the rituals for this time. I would love to hear a little bit more about what's happening in your classroom. You shared a little bit about this. <laughs> and, and that invitation to create ritual. Um, what new rituals are coming out of Union because of you and this call? Ooh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I think it, it's, as you said, it is a journey, right? And, and mm. we start a lot of the unknown. And uh, so after uh, Kimmerer had given this speech, I have to change everything. So my two classes in the forward, the, the two uh, um, uh, uh, experiences out of that, and uh, one, one class was about extractivism, which for me, it is um, mm. a metaphor for our time now in terms mm. of, of, of ecology, in terms of economy, in terms of religion, uh, uh, in terms of, of the whole ways in which we are living now. We, we can talk more about that. So that was one class that I started to do and asking, um, um, hold on just a second. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and pause. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Sorry. No I problem. Just, uh, I, I have a little creature here and, 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 and she was <laughs> crying. Oh, no problem. No problem. I'm so glad to be in a space where creatures are welcomed and their yeah, cries are yeah. actually heard. That's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> So then um, that's what, that was one class that we started to do rituals in classroom. So every class, I have half of my class as uh, doing the readings and the other is about practicing, doing mm -hmm. something out of the reading so we can embody the readings in some way or another. And so fantastic things come out of that. The other class is about uh, mourning the earth wow. um, and, and do the work of mourning. And then... Um, creating rituals in community. So every Tuesday, this class was meeting and then uh, creating the rituals for, um, for, for, for the community. And so we, we started establishing a deep connection between us and the earth and everything else. There is no, I think that this connection that we have is a disconnection of the heart and the mind in many ways but 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 we cannot disconnect our bodies from there because we are it right and mm -hmm. so it's just a way of finding this circle back into ourselves uh but then so we created like we started to do um to mourn the um the glaciers uh, melting mm -hmm. and so we had a, a worship in in chapel that we have ice melting and and we were just trying to uh to pay attention to it, to yeah. to get in connection to it, until we we became the um, the uh, the water melting, and, wow. and 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 in some ways, how how do we feel that this process is our our process? And so that was one of it. And then the other one was uh, was called um, confessing to uh, to plans. It was called the temple of confession, hmm. um, and it was. An idea that I got from this uh, Mexican US uh, artist called Guillermo Gomez Peña, but that he did something totally different in the museum. So, what I wanted to do is to uh, use some of the resources of, of, of the indigenous communities who relate to, um, to, to 
to all of the environment, nature as 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 keen, right? As they 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 have uh, um, they they relate with them as subjects. So this whole worship was to turn the. So we we, we brought plants and there was soil on on uh, at the ground, and all kinds of plants that we we got from people's homes. There were wow. some somebody's beautiful. Uh, uh, sainting beings there and so mm -hmm. we had it all there and then the idea was how what would what would change in our spirituality if mm -hmm. we start to relate to those plants and then imagine meadows imagine fields and imagine all the trees and the mountains and and what would change for us who in christianity cannot have much of this Connect because this is an it, right? And Robin Kimmer talks about in what ways we need to call um, sentient and sentient beings as 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 in in pronouns of of person, mm -hmm. right? He and she and they instead of it. So we so the the uh, the uh, the hope was that we would see what would happen to us mm -hmm. if we start to confess all forms of uh, relationality or non-relation with, wow. with, um, with the plants. So I started saying, I, I have to confess that I've been, that you have just been an object of aesthetics mm -hmm. in my house. And, and I, I, I heard my mom singing to you, but I, I, I could never join the singing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so then, uh, uh, and then everybody said, we, we had this, our class uh, were uh, set up so that the students would start to talk because we said, who is going to talk, right, about this? It might be awkward. But it didn't stop. People came wow. one after the other. And there was this one student that really called my attention. She, she started crying and she said, I'm afraid of relating to you as a, as hmm. a, a and it's source of as somebody hmm. because if i do i don't know if i can take the amount of pain hmm. Hmm. of what you go through hmm. Hmm. and i don't know if i have enough in me to take that amount of pain hmm. wow that was incredible hmm. And so that changed, mm. uh, uh, and that changed the entire course. I had planned a whole uh, syllabus with all the readings, and but then we realized that we couldn't do this because we had to plan all the rituals. <laughs> and what happened after that was this huge uh, 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 response uh, mm. that was at, at, at Union's uh, Twitter. Today we confess to plans, and then it went into a viral thing. Yeah. And, and <laughs> And it went everywhere, and, and all of the uh, bad things that that we received about that, and and so it, it kind of scared the the uh, all of um. us. It was such a massive uh, 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 um, outpouring of negativity and mm. anger, and, uh, mm -hmm. but also there were some beautiful uh, 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 things coming out of that. Some articles coming out of that, wow. and then there's this. Um, uh, Phillips Seminary in mm. Oklahoma. They, they were so uh, touched by it. Then they 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 contacted me, and the next week they sent us um, a box of cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> you need some sweetness after this harsh week. Oh, wonderful! And then Robin Kimmerer uh, wrote to the class saying, "You know, oh. I was walking." this morning with the pastors and, and listening to them and talking to them and I could just feel that they were grateful for what you did mm. oh anyway mm. that was one of the things and then we kept going and we did one on, on the bees and we uh, wow. did on trees and on oceans wow. and uh, soil, seeds so every week was something, how do we how do we create a ritual out of the uh, elements of the earth? How do we listen? How do we... So that, that was one of the, the, the things that was coming out. So in every class now, what I do in my pedag 
in, in my pedagogical way of doing now is that every class we start by listening to the birds. I open the windows mm. and we have to, 10 minutes, we have to listen to the birds. Wow. Oh. We cannot listen to the birds. We cannot listen to ourselves. Wow. And oh, so that beautiful. has changed wow. uh, uh, the ways in which we, we talk. So those are some of the uh, mm. uh, that, that we, we, are, we are doing that is oh. fantastic. Really? There's a lot of good about it. There's lots to learn. Yeah. But we are trying to figure it out, stumbled mm. upon each other, just trying to listen. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Oh, that is marvelous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, ah, what a joy and what a struggle it is to listen. And I thank you so much for being such a profound teacher and for being willing to craft the space, but then to also re envision the space and allow the earth to be the space and to, and to, mm -hmm. and to create the space with you. I think that that mm -hmm. is the kind of co journey that many of us mm -hmm. yeah. are must do, but we're trained not to do it that way. You know, we're often trained right. to completely be the focus and the locus of all knowledge and, and space and power as the professor and as a student and to allow the earth the full space to be. Uh, in that space and relocates the student, it relocates learning, it relocates education, and it completely, you know, explodes the theology, theological categories. Because I, what I hear yes. Yes. happening in your classroom is not necessarily this approach to eco-justice theologically that is traditional, which is to think about sin and the sin of ecocide and to really focus on the sin. But it's actually, it's a part of that, but it's almost the flip of that, right? It's, it, there's a sense in which you're inviting people to confess in a, in a way of actually being the plant and breathing and being water and being the element of earth, which is a different approach to the conversation on sin. Yeah, it is actually. It is. And, and uh, uh, because it, 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 it entails a different understanding of, 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 of the earth in, in our rationality. And, and, uh, and, and so my, my sin, if we are to use that word, has to be understood like people are saying, oh, you do not ask the plants to forgive your, your, your sins. Mm -hmm. And there was no hope that the earth will come back and say, you know, give the words of absolution. And mm -hmm. so you're forgiven. Mm -hmm. and go and sin no more. No. No, it is. It is. It is. The. The restitution of ourselves, the absolution of the sins, have to do with the, um, if we are to use that to you, then the notion of religion as this religare, this, mm -hmm. this reconnect, this link back again with, with, with the earth. And so without the fear of being theistic, of panentheistic, even if we, we might be when we do that, um i believe that that when when we do that i think what what it what it does is to change our positionality uh, the disposition of our hearts and so the 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 atonement uh uh, uh if we even to uh, to use this word has nothing to do with um a replacement but it has to do with um the restitution of the earth. I mean, it is, if we understand that the restitution of ourselves, the, the, uh, the uh, reshaping of ourselves, the transformation of ourselves have to do fundamentally with the restitution of the earth. So 